Regarding uh, civilization and your comments on human nature um, in Mentham, I know that you are for centralization and do not believe that local governments are particularly trustworthy. But it seems to me there's a problem with that. Um, the problem with the centralized system is that the people with the worst case of this inner asshole that you're talking about, the, the power-hungry people, gravitate towards a centralized structure. It's just too obvious of a target, and so we have a disproportionate control by them of our power structures. And the only way that that could be solved is if enough percentage of people um, were to become more enlightened and enlighten the, the inner ape, so to speak, to use your term, which I do like just fine. And in that case, we would have a better statistics of, of who might be able to get into those um, centers of power, and assuming we save democracy, um, we'll have people that are able to, to judge better who they put in power. And it would take a lot, because we are talking about democracy, so it would have to be a large number of people um, that were enlightened. But if you have a large number of people that are enlightened, a majority already, then suddenly local governments would work. And on a one-to-one -one basis, the distributed system versus a centralized system, uh, the centralized system suffers bottlenecks and the distributed system uh, doesn't. So, uh, I wonder what you or anybody else that understands that might, might think of that argument, because I do understand what you're saying against people that think that local government is already somehow better because it's closer to the village. You know, I can imagine uh, some of the people that are anti-civilization thinking just that. And it's not really true. Anybody that's gotten into local politics knows there's some pretty nasty corruption at that level as well. But, as I said, this is really a matter of uh, both types of government, local and centralized, are uh, corrupt, and the only solution to that is better people, and given better people, either system can work, and given that, um, centralization uh, creates bottlenecks and is inefficient and doesn't scale as well as distributed systems. And this is why I advocate an organic model for um, groups, organizations, because organic models are, of course, distributed in nature.